This short break from civilization is brought to you by the Ford Bronco. Get back out there. The Ford Bronco. Built wild. Learn more at Ford.com slash Bronco. Showcase Sundays today on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Hello, and welcome to the Creme de la Creme podcast. I'm your host, Charles Weatherby. In this podcast, we take you directly to all the finest podcasts available today. From drama, to history, to commentary, to music, we find the creme de la creme of all podcasts and bring you the inside story. This episode, however, we're taking a slight departure and going instead to Bells in the Bat Free to give you an idea of the other side of podcasting. I made arrangements with Mr. John Bell to visit on a certain day, and in order to catch them, unprepared and in their natural state, I arrived a day early, telling them I was an air conditioner repairman. While I was there, I compiled the following candid recordings. I arrived at the Mutual Audio Network building, a 14-story edifice of chrome and steel. Just looking in the windows, you can imagine the creativity that bounds within. It almost sparks with imagination. Then there's the basement and bells in the battery, where I am now going. Hello? Hello, is anybody here? Oh, hello. You must be the receptionist. And your name is... Miss Schmeckelheimer. Miss Sadie Schmeckelheimer. Hello. My name is Billy Bob Bob Billy. I'm here to repair the... I don't really care. Just come in and go where you need to go and do what you need to do. I am busy hacking Facebook. Oh, dear. Is that legal? Because I... Are you still here? Well, I... Be gone. Right, I'll just... Shoo, shoo. Go, then. The basement where the battery was located was a cacophony of steam pipes, leaking ceilings, warped walls, and debris everywhere. I finally found the studio where I saw Mr. Bell seated at his microphone. Hello, you must be Mr. Bell. Uh, yeah, that, that's me. Uh, who are you and what do you want? I'm kind of busy here. My name is Billy Bob Bob Billy, and I reckon I'm here to fix your air conditioner. Oh, okay, fine. Just go right ahead. Actually, I have begun. I went to the air conditioner and rebooted its system. It will take a while for this to occur, so I hope you don't mind if I just sit here and observe. No, fine. Just be quiet. We're preparing for this hoity-toity podcast guy to come in tomorrow and look around. We've got to make sure everything is, you know, right. Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, look, I got all your awards framed. Oh, very nice job there, Brad. Um, what did you come up with? Here's one for Best Comedy Podcast Ever, presented by the Best Ever Conglomerate. Oh, I like that. Nice scroll work around the edges there. Here's the Best Podcast Production Award from the International Conglomerate of Best Broadcast Podcasters Association. Well, that certainly sounds authentic. And here's the best one of all. You've been awarded the Best Entertainment Ever in the entire world, presented by the Conglomeration Conglomerate of Conglomerated conglomerations. Kind of ran out of names for the organizations there, didn't you? Doesn't matter. No one will ever get close enough to actually read it. Really? Oh, let me see what it says here. Uh, this is to certify that John Bell has four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Can see. This is a Gettysburg Address, Brad. I can't get a better endorsement than from Abel. I can all... <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. What is it, Arnie? I'm thinking it's a good idea to impress this guy coming to see us by showing him some of my inventions. I see you've gathered up a bunch of your inventions here. Oh, yeah, some of my best. Here's the Lego and the Dark Locator, you later. The Shin Spam Back to its Shorts 100-fold, you later. That one's really popular. The Auto Reminder to Wash Your Hands, you later. Wash your hands. The How to Impress Women, you later. Wait, it's not here. Oh, yeah, that's right, Brad. 
Brad has that. Do not. Yes, you do. Do not. I want it back. As soon as I'm done with it. The Mater and Sater Greater, you later. The Carburetor Fabricator Simulator Renovator, you later. Okay. Uh, I think this is all fine. Thank you, Arnie. I'm sure this will impress this guy. Okay, for right now, I'll put him over here next to this guy. Okay. Mr. Bell? Yes. Who is this guy? Oh, that's the air conditioner maintenance guy. Uh, he's fixing the air conditioner. He's just sitting there. Well, yeah, but... He must be union. The air conditioning system is rebooting. I'm simply waiting for this to finish. Air conditioning system can't reboot. Yes, it can. It's also auto-updating. Our air conditioning system pretty much consists of cogs, wheels, bolts, duct tape, and hamsters. Arnie, Arnie, don't be rude. Yeah, Arnie, this guy doesn't look very bright, but he is an AC repair guy. Have you checked his credentials? His what? Credentials. Huh? Credentials. 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 Yeah, how about it, buddy? Have you shown us your credentials? When I came in, Miss Schmackelheimer thoroughly inspected my credentials and let me through. Well, that works for me. Yeah, I'm good, too. Do you think Miss Schmeckleheimer thoroughly does anything out there to find out? Arnie, 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 everything's okay. Yeah. Watch the hands. And turn that thing off. How annoying. I spent the next several hours observing the bat-free crew, as they call themselves. They occasionally delved into intellectual discussions. So, uh, what's good for us to watch on HBO these days? Well, you know, the listings. Uh, take a look, see if anything rings your bell. All right, let's see. Oh, here's something I haven't seen yet. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. What? Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Why would I poke a man? No, you don't poke and any... why is he peeking at me? No, it's Pikachu. Peek at me? Pikachu. Good night. Look, I want to watch Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Oh, here's one of my favorite shows. I want to see Pinky Dinky Doo. That's a real show? Yes, it is. Pinky Dinky Doo. Sounds more like Stinky Dinky Doo. I don't care. We're watching Pinky Dinky Doo. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Pinky Dinky Doo. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Pinky Dinky Doo. Sucker Punch. What's that? Sucker Punch. It's a movie. Well, so's Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I want to watch Pinky Dinky Doo. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Sucker Punch. Pinky Dinky Doo. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Sucker Punch. Pinky Dinky Doo. Shazam! What the heck? It's Hugo the Janitor. If I had my pick, like Pikachu, stop that. I'd pick Shazam! Well, now we're just getting ridiculous. Yeah, because we're watching Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Sucker Punch. Pinky Dinky Doo. Shazam! Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Sucker Punch. Pinky Dinky Shazam! Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Sucker Punch. 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 Shazam! All right, guys, this isn't getting us anywhere. I've got an idea. Why don't we just say, fighting's for another day. We'll settle it this way by watching Fraggle Rock. Oh, I love Fraggle Rock. So turn on Fraggle Rock already. Excuse me, Mr. Bell. As much as I'm enjoying this, uh, whatever it is, I notice that the air conditioner has reset, updated, and rebooted. So my work here is done. Wait a minute. You mean your entire job is just to sit here and wait for an air conditioner to reboot? Well, yes, actually. Uh, is there a problem? No, no, no. I was just wondering if uh, you can use a partner. Well, thank you, Mr. Bob, Billy, Billy... Billy, Bo- um, Billy Bob, Bob. Billy Bob. Yeah, Bob. anyway, thank you. Well, you're welcome, and I'll see you soon. What are you supposed to meant by that? I'm guessing the air conditioner will need another upgrade. Really, Sean? I really am in the wrong line of work. Yeah, I've been saying that for years. So I left the battery, returning the next day at my pre-appointed time. Hello and welcome to Bells in the Battery. I'm John Bell, your genial host, and we have a special guest today, an individual who has his own podcast called The Creme de la Creme. Please welcome Charles Welterweight. Weatherby. How's that? Weatherby. Weatherby what? Charles Weatherby. Yes. Well, welcome to the Bad Free Charlie. Charles. Charles. Thank you. Well, let's talk about the top podcasts and why you go to visit. Hello, 
Yes, Bill. Why, look, it's my top salesman, Brad Montworth. Yep, that's me. And what brings you in here today, Brad? My feet. Your I f- had to give up my electric scooter. I uh, kept running into things and breaking. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here, Brad? You told me to wait a few seconds and then pop in Brad, for the... Brad, oh, Ixnay oh, on the yes, end. Yes, uh, here, Mr. Bell, you've gotten another award. Oh, really? Oh, this is so embarrassing, it coming in while we have a guest and everything. Isn't this award beautiful, Mr. Bell? Yes, yes, it is. I would say congratulations are in order. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. This is some of my best work so far. Brad? Brad? I mean, Brad, Brad, I think Brad? he's talking to you, Mr. Bell. Yes, thank you, thank you, Brad. Why don't you run along? Run along what? Marathon? I'm not much of a runner. Get out of here. That I can do. Bye-bye. <laughs> Isn't he a card? Always kidding all the time. You do have an impressive wall of awards here, Mr. Bell. <laughs> Why, thank you, thank you. And a recommendation from Abraham Lincoln certainly doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, it's cert- What? Oh, Mr. Bell, is I Arnie Kunzpar's top scientist and inventor. Oh, look, it's our top scientist and inventor. I just said that. You did? Yes. I thought that was supposed to be my line. This is what happens when you miss a rehearsal. <laughs> all right. Arnie, what clever and very useful inventions have you for us today? Yes, Mr. Kunchpod, I'd be very interested to know what inventions you have. Certainly something incredibly useful. Yes, well, I've got... And not something frivolous like a Lego in the dark locator you later. Uh... Or a sin spam back to its source 100-fold you later. No. Or perhaps an auto-reminder to wash hands you later. Definitely not. Wash your hands. Quiet, you. So, what do you have? I have my... Accidentally left it in my laboratory. You later. I'll go get it. Yes, bye bye. What a charming fellow. Yes, I'm very lucky to have him. Let's get down to the interview now, shall we? Oh, yeah. Mr. Bell, what do you say is your position here exactly at the Mutual Audio Network? Well, I'm uh, considered an indispensable jack of all trades. I thought that was Jack Ward. Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I guess it would be. So I guess you say I'm an indispensable John. An interesting way to phrase that. Look, the people in the Mutual Audio Network depend on me for my writing skills, my acting skills, and everything that I do here. Come I- on, Bell! Oh, excuse me just a moment. Are you down there? Yes, I'm right here. This is Persephone Rose of Emperor Pig. <laughs> These people never leave me alone. I need your voice right away. I'll be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Could you holler at the janitor and tell him our toilet is plugged up? Yes, yes, I'll be glad to do that. Woo, thank you. <laughs> yes, that's me. I always give, give, give. And don't forget, you still owe me a supreme pizza with extra olives. All right, already. Well? Well, what? Don't you have some voice work to do? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hugo! Hey, heard what they said, Mr. Bell. I'm on my way. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, this is a very creative place. I mean, it's not just voices and help that I provide, but I also am known as a great writer amongst the group here. I think... Bell? Uh, excuse me again. You down there? I'm right here. This is Pete Lutz with the Narada Radio Company. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, the cellar? Cellar? We're one floor above you guys. Oh, yeah, with all the chain rattling and screaming all hours of the day and night. I'm in a bind, and I need a good rider fast. (laughs) You've come to the right place. I'd be glad to assist you. Oh, man, that's awesome. I knew I could depend on you. Always, always. Okay, could you please write Mm -hmm. out to lunch back at 1.30, nice and neat on poster board? Yeah. Great. Uh Uh-huh. Thanks, man. Welcome. Seriously, thanks. Yeah, fine. Okay, well, I'd ask you to go to lunch with us, but I know you're busy riding. Mm Mm-hmm. I would say that you are the glue around here. Because I hold the place together? No, because you're sticky and you have an unusual odor. Was that a joke? Would you know one if you heard one? I think maybe we're done here. Oh, yes. One of us is done, certainly. Mm. Be sure to catch my creme de la creme podcast featuring your show, Mr. Bell. I can hardly wait. Well, I'll see myself out. Goodbye. Yeah, slong. Well, Mr. Bell, how did it go, huh, huh? How did it go, huh? How did it go, huh? Yeah, how did it go, huh, huh? How did it go, huh, huh? Well, let's just say that anybody hearing his podcast won't change their opinions of this show. Do you think his comments will attract new listeners to our show? Yes, yes. In the way that a rotten banana peel attracts new flies. I knew I should have emptied the garbage can before he came in. 
You've been listening to Bells in the Bat Free, episode 243, copyright 2020 by John Bell Creative, LLC. Uh, where are you guys going? Oh, uh, we've been invited out to lunch with the gang. Yeah, we'll be back about one thirty or so. But, but... Just put the sign on the door when you're finished with it, okay? Right. Out <laughs> to lunch. Back at... Now, you seem to me to be a connoisseur of the best of radio drama. In which case, make sure you're subscribed to the Monday Matinee Feed. There we have our weekly series of dramatic, theatrical, classic, eclectic and live radio drama. So yeah, either the main Mutual Audio Network feed for all types and genres of audio drama, or the Monday Matinee. And we'll see you there.